and caught behind. Well, that's what Jamal was searching for in his previous over. He beat Smith a couple of times with genuine outswingers and steel. Still. And that will be the century. He's been hard held across the first 20 minutes this morning. But that doesn't reflect... Fifth Surrey batter to get 100 this season. Shot. On the up. I thought this might happen. As soon as he's reached three figures, the game changes. Dispatched. It's Clark on this occasion. But you can see now they're going to hunt 350. Look to 400. Shots. Clark. The only thing that was stopping that was the stumps at the non-striker's end, which it nearly clipped on the way through. Oh, Chops. Chops on. So again, I just admire the way the Warriors are stuck to their task here. They're given nothing away with the exception of a couple of balls that have gone down the leg side for four with the keeper up to the stumps. Pulled hard, just beats the man at short mid-wicket. And Abbott will pick up another boundary. Oh, it's a beautiful shot from Jamie Smith. Not much wrong with that delivery from Hannon Dolby. And he's just rocked back onto his back foot and just punched that. Bang. Thump. Six. Take a deep cover now in response. And Smith in response to that goes straight up out the middle of the blade short and shoveled away for four I say shoveled it was hit well but he did have a man to beat down the track how many times have we seen Jamie Smith walk down at the first ball of it over and clunk it as he's done here all the way for six to the long boundary too oh, again me. first ball of the over he just he just plays it so well he realises first ball of the over is likely to be a bowler getting back into his rhythm again. Hits it so hard. It's really well played here. It's the lead of 100, thus the applause. And another milestone for Jamie Smith. A rash shot. <laughs> well, Bethel's induced... A false shot from Sean Abbott. And inside edge just misses the leg stump. And that's run away to the final leg boundary. 4-4, which takes Surrey up to 450. And Abbott cuts it away past the man at backward point. And that will race away to the deep third boundary. He will pick up four. You know, they're very equivalent players, really. That's swept firmly by Abbott again. And that's gone to the fine leg boundary and Sean Abbott reaches 50. Jamie Smith applauds his partner. Smith goes aerial. And Davies takes an excellent catch, running round from mid-off. Finally, Warwickshire have the breakthrough. They pick up. Oh, and that's another excellent catch. And... Warwick should have the final two sorry wickets in the space of four deliveries. Dan Worrell. And he <laughs> cuts that past the man at backward point. And that will just about reach the boundary. So he starts the innings <laughs> with a boundary. So maybe there is something to gain. Maybe there is. Oh, that's another edge this time. An outside edge in it. Races past Ollie Pope at first slip. Davies will come back for a second run so Warwickshire shot and you can hear it clattering against the boundary boards down towards Lee Fortis's hut cut away again again loose from Roach and no chance for Abbott out on the boundary Ooh. oh now that looks extremely close and is given Roach with the breakthrough, Yates survived and appeal in the last over, but Davis has to go this time, Roach right on the money. Shot. Thick outside edge, yes, but 
played late enough. There's a huge gap between third sip and backward point. Runs away down to the fence for four. Oh, now then, that's rather brilliantly played, actually. It may look streaky, but it's a really deliberate shot. Played with five. Oh, not far away from mid-wicket. That's lofted little clip by Yates that speeds away to the boundary. Oh, he's gone after this as Rhodes. He's playing a very different knock. That's another nicely played shot by Yates. Really well timed. Get onto the square and it'll dribble into the shot. Nice firm push down the ground. It should make it to the boundary and it does. And oh. Jordan Clark, as he so often does, on cue. breaks the Warwickshire start partnership. Will Rhodes. Clark finds the outside edge again, but Yates does well to keep this one down. It runs away all along the ground for four. He moves on to 45 now. Oh, driven nicely down mm. the ground, and that'll be four more for Rob Yates. That's his best shot. Yates gets that away. We'll have a look at the what the umpire signals. Yep, nothing from the umpire, so that will be 50 for Rob Yates. To the Irish entry. Oh, it's got him! Yates pulling a ball across the line, or attempting to at any rate. An injudicious shot. He looked so good for his 52. Oh, that's out. Mm. I thought so. That looked very, very straight. It was fuller this time, so height was not the issue, and Mosley looking to play across the line to the onside. Oh yes, that's a fine shot. Really good shot from Sam Hay. Punched off the back foot through the covers. That's a, that's a fine shot. That's going to race away. Lovely looking stroke, that one. Bit of wits off it from Dan Worrell. And Ed Bernard, who was in fine form in the first innings, wasn't going to miss out on that one. Late movement away from Sam Hain, who wafts at it, gets it outside edge. That's a great drive to finish. Hain, who's taken his time so far by necessity. That's his first boundary of the session, up to 26, 156 for four. Oh my goodness, what a catch that is! Sean Abbott. In his follow-through, we are wondering where a wicket was going to come from, and it's come from a moment of fielding genius. That is remarkable. Oh, it's got him. That is that shape. Bethel shouldering arms, dump out of the ground, a sixth wicket goes down. Wig slip in. Oh, that's a beauty as well. Kemar Roach gives it the full celebration, and rightly so. He's bent back the off stump of Sam Hayne. Oh, look at that. That is brilliant. We've seen three bits of individual brilliance from Kemar Roach. Three time stumps out of the ground. Oh, the one ball out of him. It's a full toss. It's given. It clearly wasn't what Warrell was going for. You could tell by the muted appeal. But it's good enough to get him in the book. Sumptuous shot, four runs, overpitched. A shot you don't see that often necessarily. It's nicely tucked away by Sibley. Brings him his first runs and four of them. He's gone after that as Rory Burns and he's clattered it away through deep backward point for four. He didn't leave that alone. Ooh, now that's got a leading edge, and it's evaded. Jabal will run away down through backward point for four. And that was certainly not where Sibley intended. And let's take a look at Rory Burns. They're not going to. They are going to walk off. They're happy with that. 